Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Hannah and on this channel, I post a lot of content about anti-MLM and financial scams. Today's video is about an influencer scam, a lot of commentary and reaction style content designed for consumer protection, to educate, to raise awareness so that basically you don't get scammed and you know what to look for and you can protect yourself and so you don't fall for it. I can link my big anti-MLM playlist right here for you. There's over 180 videos on it. I've been told it's very bingeable. Before we get too far into the video, I have to let you in on a little bit of a secret. This is kind of completely unrelated to the topic of the video, so if you're not interested, skip ahead about a minute. But I have to come clean about something, and that is that I'm in a completely different room in my house than I have been for the previous 180 something videos. For the past two years, I've been filming in what is now my daughter's room. It used to be a guest room, then it was the nursery, but she was a newborn, so she wasn't using the nursery yet. But now she is sleeping through the night in her own room. So I got kicked out. Now I'm in our office slash guest room. It was the biggest pain in the butt. We had to move all the guest room furniture out. We had to get a storage unit for it because otherwise there wasn't gonna be any other place in my house that I would have room for all of my filming equipment. So all of that to say, the reason I'm even bringing it up is because I'm in a room right now with basically no furniture and hardwood floors. I feel like visually you probably can't tell the difference between this and my previous videos, but the audio might be slightly different for this video only. I have a rug coming in, I have curtains coming in. All of that should make the audio quality exactly the way it was previously. But just for a warning, it might be a little bit echoey for this video and I apologize for that. I did the best I could. You should see this room right now, it is a mess. I have throw blankets laid on the ground over here. I have pillows right there. I brought in my ottoman from the living room. <laughs> I basically tried to fill this room with soft surfaces to help with the echoing for this video. But anyway, all of that to say, I'm in a completely new room. It feels feels very bizarre. I know it doesn't look any different, but it feels very strange. Anyway, just wanted to let you know about that up front in case the audio quality is a little bit different for this video and you happen to notice that. The next video you see from me will be right back to normal. Okay, moving on. <laughs> what I have for you today is a wildly outrageous topic. Here is a sentence I never thought would come out of my mouth. A wellness influencer by the name of Samantha Lotus is getting a lot of negative attention right now surrounding her Vizio Vision Healing Masterclass in which she claims that people don't really need glasses and that your poor vision can be healed through things like positive mindset, spirituality, and you guessed it, doTERRA essential oils. This masterclass is a webinar that she created to teach people how to heal their vision naturally and holistically. And the attention that this masterclass is getting right now kind of stems from an anti-scam TikToker by the name of Mallory, who paid to attend this masterclass and then exposed all the insanity she saw a woman after my own heart. I love that so much. And this video is gonna serve as kind of a recap to this whole situation. Samantha created the masterclass. Mallory exposed the masterclass. Samantha has clapped back at her on social media as well as threatened Mallory with legal action. Now the news media is getting involved and there are several articles written about this. It is a hot mess express. I have lots of screenshots. I have lots of screen recordings and of course, lots of opinions. And I'm gonna give you all the tea. But before we get into all of that, I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Paired. Paired is a relationship care app that offers daily questions, games, quizzes, exercises, and expert video guidance on all relationship subjects. The app is designed to foster communication, trust, and intimacy with a mission to improve the happiness of couples in relationships. I always like to lead with the fact that the Paired app holds a special place in my heart because my husband and I have been using this app since December of 2021, long before I ever worked with them as a sponsor, long before I even had sponsors sponsorships on my channel, period. The aspect of the app we love the most is that when you're responding to the questions or quizzes or games, you can't see what your partner has answered until you have both submitted your responses. This forces you to be really thoughtful and intentional with your answers because it's a conversation you're having through your phone. You're not gonna be swayed by your partner's body language or their tone or their facial expressions. And it's also very fascinating to see how similarly or differently you answered the question. For example, there could be a question that comes up about the division of household responsibilities. Maybe one partner responds saying they feel that the responsibilities are split evenly and they're happy with that, but the other person responds saying that they feel the opposite. You can't be swayed by the other person because you don't know what they said until you both submitted your answers. And that's great grounds for a productive conversation that can improve your relationship going forward. Personally, I found that the activities on the Paired app bring up a lot of topics that I wouldn't otherwise initiate talking about with my partner because they're things that wouldn't otherwise come up in daily conversations 
communication, so it definitely encourages us to communicate better. Another great thing about the Paired app is that they're adding new features all the time. I've seen so many additions to the app over the past two years that I've been using it. Most recently, they've added a timeline feature where you can add in important moments and you can see the growth of your relationship in a visual way, which I think is really cool. If you would like to maintain and deepen connection with your partner, you can click my link below to get a seven day free trial plus 25% off Paired Premium. Thanks again, Paired, for your continued support of the channel. Now let's get into today's video. Okay, so first I wanna give you some background on the key players in this story. This video of mine is a little bit unique in the sense that I'm not gonna be blurring any faces or removing any social media handles. And that's because this story has kind of gone viral already and it's made its way into like a dozen news articles already. Censoring this person would kind of feel silly almost because if you just Google the name of her masterclass, you're going to get pages and pages of results. Her name and face are plastered everywhere. She has like 27,000 Instagram followers. She's a self-proclaimed health coach and public figure. Therefore, I'm not going to be censoring for this video. With that being said, this video is not your invitation to visit this person's social media and to send her hateful messages or nasty comments. I never have and never will condone that kind of behavior. It is so wildly unproductive. So if you have a comment to make or something that you're thinking about, you can leave those things in the comments of this video below, but you do not have my permission or my encouragement to go be nasty to this woman. Deal? All right, so here we go. First, we have Samantha. She goes by Samantha Lotus on social media and she calls herself a holistic master coach that specializes in human optimization, whatever that means. And recently in September of 2023, she developed this masterclass called the Visio Holistic Vision Healing Masterclass. She charges $11 for this class and it's a live webinar style where you log into a Zoom call and she gives you this two hour presentation in real time about all the reasons you can't see. And then she claims to teach you how to heal your vision. Here is a now deleted video that she created for social media to promote her masterclass. What's the one thing that your optometrist doesn't want you to know about? The fact that you do not need glasses. That's right. You may have been told that you need glasses, but that's actually a lie. There are mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual reasons why you may not be seeing. And I'm here to tell you that that can be healed. If you want to learn more, read the comments. Okay, and then part of her caption says, I'm teaching an $11 masterclass this week called Visio, and it's going to blow your mind. If you are ready to truly see and you're open to holistic, multidimensional healing, this is for you. So this is an attention grabbing video. What, you're telling me that I don't need glasses? You're telling me that my optometrist has been lying to me this whole time, and if I just pay you $11, you will be able to teach me how to heal my vision? My first thought, upon seeing this is what's the big deal? Since when did glasses or vision care become so controversial? Oh yeah, the big bad optometry industry trying to scam us all into wearing glasses. <laughs> like what? What a weirdly specific thing to be fear-mongering. Of all the things to sell a masterclass about, you're gonna go with the claim that glasses are a scam. Okay, cool. We can kind of understand this angle a little better once we learn that Samantha is also a rep for the MLM company doTERRA, which sells essential oils. As we know, MLMs are strikingly similar to pyramid schemes. They are, in my opinion, financial scams. And the reps for these companies have all kinds of delusions about what their products have the power power to do. And that gets them into some pretty sketchy territory when they start making money by selling these products on the basis of these unfounded health claims. Say like that doTERRA oils have the power to cure your poor vision, perhaps? The fact that Samantha sells for doTERRA is a huge piece of this that comes into play later. So that's Samantha, that's her situation. Now the second player in this story is Mallory. Mallory is an anti-scam, anti-misinformation content creator who calls out a lot of wellness related scams. I would consider Mallory to be almost like a colleague of mine. We both create anti-scam content for the purpose of consumer protection. She told me that she's been watching my channel since the very beginning. We message occasionally on Instagram. She's great. You should definitely check her out. I'll have all of Mallory's social media linked below, but this story plays out mostly on TikTok and Twitter. And for the record, Mallory did not ask me to make this video. Actually, I got dozens of emails, dozens of Instagram DMs of people sending me Mallory's content saying, 
saying, hey, have you seen this? This is really interesting. You should make a video about it. And once I dug into it a little bit, it didn't take long to discover that there is a real story here. So Mallory, creating the kind of content she does, got wind of this masterclass and decided, you know what? I'm gonna pay to attend it. And then I'm gonna create some content based on the things I saw. It's kind of giving undercover investigative journalism vibes, which I'm all about. So as she was attending the masterclass, Mallory was kind of live reacting and live tweeting about everything that was going on. I'll link her Twitter thread below if you wanna look through that yourself. But then after the masterclass was over, Mallory created a TikTok video recapping the whole thing. And that's what blew up. That video now has almost 3 million views on TikTok. It has like 40,000 views on Instagram. Like I said, it's been sent to me dozens of times from people asking me to cover it on my channel. And eventually it made its way back to Samantha herself, which we'll get to. But let's watch Mallory's viral TikTok right now. If you heard about the woman who was claiming she could help you ditch your glasses and heal your vision in her masterclass, uh, I am happy to report that I paid $11 this morning to attend so that you didn't have to. This is Samantha Lotus. Her course was called the Holistic Vision Healing Masterclass and it was $11 to attend. I first wanna say that when she started this, she said even though there was no more than 130 people in the room at once, she did say that she had 465 people register, which means that in this two and a half hours, she made over $5,000 doing this. So keep that in mind as I start explaining the types of things that she talked about. We are off to a great start here with a legal disclaimer saying I'm not a pharma doctor. And if anyone wants to explain to me what pharma doctor means, that'd be great. She's not a medical advisor. This is for holistic educational and empowerment purposes. She started off with medical reasons why you might not be able to see. Um, so these are things that you might have heard from your optometrist, but she described these uh, as not root causes, only diagnoses. And this is where it starts to take a turn because we get into the holistic, uh, the spiritual, the mental, the emotional side of why you might not be able to see. So suggesting that you can't um, see 2020 vision because you have uh, unbalanced spirituality, because you have some sort of blockages. So, you know, it's like all your fault, basically. We did a few eye health breaks, um, like eye stretching. She kept calling it eye yoga. It's pretty much the nicest part of the whole thing. At this point, she suggested that you could in fact change your eye color through cellular cleansing and proper detoxification. At this point, we're about 30 minutes into the two hour masterclass, haven't really learned anything tangible yet. And she spends about like five to 10 minutes just giving testimonials from people who she has allegedly helped, including her own husband. And the funniest part about the whole thing that I will not let go is you can see the second from the top line says named best vision in the military. What the fuck does that mean? Where did that award come from? Who decided this? I just, again, this like you can't see because you just need to let go of the belief that you can't see. And she talked about how like glasses are just a barrier between you and the rest of the world. And like, what are you hiding from? Then we said some affirmations together. So like the last one says, I see with love and joy. My third eye is awake and aware. With each blink, my eyes are refresh and renew. This is where things get interesting. There is a sample week slide of things that you can do. We have spiritual, mental, emotional, and then physical. The second last line from the bottom under physical says that you can use eye strengthening oils dash immortel. I know that Samantha is a rep for doTERRA, sells essential oils under a multi-level marketing structure. And I have been waiting for her to mention it because I know that she can't resist. Immortel is a doTERRA essential oil. And so now this whole masterclass is starting to make sense. It's a Trojan horse to pitch an MLM. That becomes abundantly clear when she shares the story of her brother apparently got into an accident, was not doing well, allegedly received a not too promising uh, outcome from the doctor, but he recovered in full health now. Uh, and that bottle looks awfully familiar. Remind you what this one looks like. Third line from the top, essential oils around the eyes two times a day with the doTERRA bottle on the slide. I'll say it again, this entire masterclass exists for this reason. And if you didn't believe me before, there's an entire slide for it. And if you still didn't believe me, these are doTERRA products. 
that's a doTERRA product. There's a video that I have of her talking that I can't seem to fit in here. Um, and she's basically talking about doTERRA products completely unrelated to vision. And as a reminder, this masterclass is supposed to be about healing vision. She just talks about how much she loves the company and how amazing the products are. In the Q&A after, she uh, <laughs> unprompted showed everyone on the call where to go uh, for more information on doTERRA if you want to work with her and if you want to buy this product. Mallory's video isn't over yet, but what she's getting at here is that it seems like the whole point of this vision healing masterclass is a cover or a Trojan horse, as she calls it, for a doTERRA pitch. And that the main purpose of Samantha even putting together this webinar and charging people to attend it is so that she can trap people into hearing her promote doTERRA products to hopefully sell some essential oils or to get people to sign up to be on her MLM team. This makes perfect sense to me. This seems like exactly the kind of thing somebody in an MLM would do. It feels like an extremely creative, elaborate, sneaky, manipulative doTERRA pitch. She could have just made an Instagram post claiming that immortel oil can cure your vision. That's not to say that it's legal or ethical or right, but it would have been a lot more simple and straightforward. But instead, she crafted a whole master class on the topic in which people are spending $11 and two hours of their life on just to have it end up in yet another MLM boss babe, I have the cure for you pitch. It is infuriating. A very unique and crafty way of attempting the same old MLM BS of preying on people's vulnerabilities to make a buck. This is also a not funny slide. Um, what about children? Suggesting that the same protocols or similar protocols can be used on children so they don't have to wear glasses. And as a reminder, Samantha herself said that 465 people registered and an $11 a head that is over $5,000 for two and a half hours of her time to basically end up in a doTERRA sales pitch. To me, in my opinion, based on my observations, this is textbook grift. This woman made $5,000 this morning telling a Zoom room of people that if only they would work harder on their spirituality and their mental state and their emotion state, that they too could heal their vision and ditch their glasses. And then I don't even wanna think about <laughs> how she'll benefit from folks reaching out to her for the doTERRA business opportunity or to buy products from her. The funniest part about this is the legal disclaimer at the beginning, which she gave that she wasn't a pharma doctor. Before the Q&A, she also gave a disclaimer that she uh, wasn't an eye care expert. And then she went on to give uh, ed like medical advice, which included doTERRA oils and other products. Someone asked about ADHD and her, <laughs> her response to that was, oh, well, if we just didn't have so many tabs open on our computer, we'd all be fine. I am begging everyone here to stop taking master classes from random people on the internet who have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Girl, preach it. Do you see what I mean when I said that this was a hot mess express? Mallory really did the heavy lifting for me on this one with her commentary. I agree with everything she said. If I was reacting to this masterclass myself, I likely would have called out a lot of the same issues with it. But I just have to reiterate what she said at the very end. And I have to emphasize the fact that we should not be turning to social media influencers for health advice, period. This whole self-righteous influencer trend of creating a masterclass to spew misinformation almost enrages me. It's a freaking epidemic at this point. Everyone is selling a course. Everyone thinks they hold the secrets to life. Everyone thinks they're entitled to make a quick slideshow saying whatever the heck they want and then charge people for it. Do you understand that literally anyone can do this? If I wanted to, I could go on Canva right now and I could make a presentation about how the earth is made of chocolate and the moon is made of cheese and I could charge charge people $11 to hear me talk about that. Just because you know how to make a slide deck and set up a Zoom call and gather people's credit card information does not mean you are qualified. It doesn't make what you're saying true. It doesn't make you an expert on the topic either. You don't have good vision because your spirituality is out of whack. If you just detox your body, your eyes are going to change color. If you just use doTERRA oils on your eyes, then you'll be able to see better. Someone please tell me that this is a sick joke.
joke because I don't want to live in a world where someone is trying to make money convincing other people that this is true. I feel like this masterclass cannot possibly be real, but unfortunately it is. Even the cat thinks it's insane. Next, let's address this claim that the doTERRA Immortel oil can fix your vision. Here's what the oil looks like on the doTERRA website. It retails for $106 and it's marketed as an anti-aging skincare product that you can use on your face and neck to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. That's my cat Zeke in the background. We just have to ignore him. This is his specialty to meow and literally every single one of my videos. Anyway, nowhere on the product page here does the company itself claim that the oil can do anything regarding your vision or your eyes. Why would they? That's a bogus unproven health claim that could land them in a lot of legal trouble. Of course they wouldn't claim such a thing. But notice down here at the bottom, there's a section called cautions that says possible skin sensitivity, avoid contact with eyes, inner ears, and sensitive areas. Yeah, no kidding. It's essential oil. No Known to be extremely potent and irritating when applied to the skin. And the skin surrounding your eyes is some of the thinnest and most sensitive on your entire body. So who on earth would think it's a good idea to apply essential oil to your eye area? This woman, apparently. Let's use some common sense here, okay? This essential oil is not going to fix your vision and it should not be applied to the skin surrounding your eyes per the doTERRA website itself. MLM reps make ridiculous claims all the time. I feel like I've seen it all at this point, but something about this in particular is bothering me more than usual. Maybe it's because she's charging people to come and hear her nonsense. Maybe it's because she has no research or evidence to back up her claims. Or maybe it's because what this whole thing really is, is an MLM pitch. She's claiming to be an expert who can teach you how to heal your vision holistically, but it just ends up in her trying to sell you a $100 essential oil product and then trying to convince you to sign up for her MLM. Maddening. I hope nobody feels for this. Moving on with the story now, Mallory's TikTok video clearly struck a chord with Samantha because she threatened Mallory with legal action. Here's a message that was sent to Mallory on Samantha's behalf, it looks like, and it says, hey Mallory, since your posts about Samantha go against intellectual property laws as well as protective regulations against defamation, this is a courtesy message letting you know that you have 24 hours to remove your posts before we move forward with legal action. Warm regards, Samantha and team. Get out of here with that, okay? Warm regards. That is so disingenuous. We have your IP address from where you purchased the private masterclass and screen recorded videos of you sharing the entire masterclass content online. When you purchased, you agreed to the terms, even though you didn't use your name to purchase or join the Zoom room. So when this message is talking about intellectual property laws, what they're referring to is copyright. And here's a section of Samantha's terms and conditions of her masterclass about copyright. And it says all content in this masterclass, including text, graphics, images, and other materials is protected by copyright and may not be used, shared, or even screenshotted without express written permission by Samantha Lotus. To do so is a direct violation of intellectual property laws. Now here's my completely non-professional interpretation. This is a copyright clause, meaning that Samantha is the owner of this material and that you cannot take her material and reproduce it as your own. However, Mallory wasn't copying and reproducing Samantha's work and passing it off as her own. She she was instead providing her own commentary and criticism about it, which can be legal. In the United States, this is called the fair use doctrine, but both Mallory and Samantha are based in Canada and it's called fair dealing there. And this is the exact kind of legal protection my videos fall under too. You may have noticed my fair use disclaimer at the beginning of my videos. Fair use or fair dealing refers to the right somebody has to reproduce someone else's work without their permission if it is being used for educational, commentary, or criticism purposes. For example, I don't need Samantha's permission to share clips of her in this video. She put it out there, I have criticisms of it, and I'm putting it in this commentary style video that's protected under fair use. She cannot sue me for that. Now, please understand I'm not a lawyer and this is my own amateur interpretation of the situation, but I believe that Mallory is also completely legally protected here. I believe that her TikTok video reviewing Samantha's masterclass is legal under fair dealing in Canada. They can't come at her for copyright infringement under 
intellectual property laws because she didn't do anything wrong. It's fair use. <laughs> you are allowed to take snippets of somebody else's work and show it on your own platform for criticism or commentary purposes. That's why the law exists. So personally, this feels like an empty legal threat to me intended to scare Mallory into taking her TikTok video down, which Mallory did not do, which is good because she doesn't have to. You can't just sue somebody because they made a TikTok video voicing opinion you don't like, sorry. <laughs> and also as a very bizarre little side situation, Samantha also appears to be trying to intimidate Mallory in other ways. Here's what I mean. So Mallory has her public social media accounts that are dedicated to her anti-scam content, but Samantha found Mallory's private Facebook account and sent her a message saying, found you. And Mallory says, this is getting creepy. Yes, it absolutely is. Then she sent another message saying, I see you went to blank and we have mutual friends. Interesting. Then she found Mallory on LinkedIn and sent her a message there as well saying, hey Mallory, have you had a chance to review what we have been sending you regarding the legal threats. And Mallory said that she has 24 hours to respond to the legal threats, but this is the third platform she's messaged me on just this afternoon. And finally, Samantha's partner sent Mallory a Facebook friend request on her private profile as well. This is unhinged behavior. This feels like something someone would do if they felt like they were really backed into a corner and they were trying to do everything they could to regain some sense of power and control over the situation. In my opinion, this kind of behavior is confirmed that Samantha feels threatened by Mallory's TikTok video and she's trying to make Mallory feel uncomfortable, which I would argue she's succeeding at. This is creeper behavior. Not only is Samantha acting out towards Mallory directly, she's also clearly angry and she has since posted lots of things on her social media accounts, defending herself and her masterclass. And please note that everything I'm about to show you was saved on an Instagram story highlight on Samantha's profile, but has since been deleted for one reason or another. Whether that was a personal sense of shame or she was advised to take it down from her legal team, we don't know. In this defense, she's saying, for the critics saying I made $5,000 for two hours, what you don't see is the years of studies, the years of mentorship, the years of practice, the 30 plus hours it takes to make a masterclass, the 15 plus attached documents, the two and a half hour delivery, the Facebook group, the time to market, the cost of developing it, payroll, payment processing fees, etc., etc. I see what she's saying when she's trying trying to make the point that there's a lot more time spent on this masterclass behind the scenes and that it wasn't just the two hours she spent on the Zoom call, but quite frankly, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care how many hours of your life you put into spreading this misinformation. The point is that you're making money from distributing false health claims and medical misinformation and throwing in an MLM pitch while you're at it. It does not matter to me how long you spent putting all of this together, you still made $5,000 off of lying to and manipulating people essentially. Her second defense is that it's easy to judge, criticize, and lie about something you know absolutely nothing about. When you've never been an entrepreneur or run your own business and have no clue what it involves and spend your time tearing others down without any true merit, all you do is reveal who you are. Oh yes, the classic. If you're calling me out, that makes you a miserable hater who just doesn't understand MLM boss babe script. Look, I'm sorry that you're being called out for scamming people. I know that's pretty harmful to you and your business and your income, but let's consider the motives here. Your motive is to put together a masterclass with absolutely zero credentials and then to sell it to people along with a pitch for doTERRA oils to capitalize on people's vulnerabilities. On the other side of things, our motive behind calling out this kind of behavior is for consumer protection, awareness, and education. Maybe I am biased, but I really do feel like there is a right and wrong side of this situation. Her third defensive Instagram story says, and to all of the media companies, influencers, or other people out there hating on me because of the opinion of a premeditated attack against me, you need to check yourselves and take a good hard look in the mirror at who you are showing up as and what kind of impact you're actually having. Great. Let's play the victim and place the blame on everyone else for just being a hater rather than addressing the points these haters are making. I cannot stand this. One thing you should know about people in MLMs especially is that they can't ever address the points directly and they don't have any honest, solid ground on which to defend themselves. So they resort to trying to make you feel bad about yourself as a person. I can't refute any of the facts you stated, so I'm gonna tell you to take a good hard look in the mirror instead. This kind of thing drives me nuts, but it's so telling. Mallory can 
can say, hey, this masterclass feels like one big pitch for doTERRA essential oils. And Samantha responds back with, you're a hateful person and you're just being mean to me and you need to check yourself. Okay. <laughs> this next thing is funny. This is a caption from a now deleted Instagram post where Samantha calls Mallory a quote, teenage TikTok girl. <laughs> to which Mallory replies, I'm 32, only three years younger than her. So now Samantha is taking low blows at someone's age and not even their actual age, what she perceives their age to be. So what if Mallory was a teenager? She still made valid points, but again, you can't refute any of those points. So instead you're trying to make her seem young and incompetent, even though she's 32. If anything, I think Samantha's behavior is proving that age and maturity are not always correlated. Here's one last defensive thing that Samantha posted. I need to make a clarification, although it's wildly mind blowing that I, I even need to do this. For those of you who have interpreted my message that you don't need glasses, that humans don't have a biological need for glasses, uh, it is not to say that if you currently have a visual impairment to take off your glasses and go drive a vehicle. In fact, in my masterclass, I make that blatantly clear, right? We're, we're not ridiculous here. We are talking about healing or improving significantly vision, which is what our bodies are made to do. We're made and designed to see and healing our eyesight or drastically improving it is actually, actually very biologic. It's quite simple. We need to give our eyes and our minds, our brains, the things it needs to see. Okay, so we're clear about that. Good. Miss ma'am, I just have to tell you, I don't care for your tone. <laughs> Seriously though, this reeks of condescension. I can't believe I have to say this, but if you interpreted it this way, and then at the end she says, are we clear about that? Good. Ugh, yucky, yucky, yuck, yuck, yuck. She's like, it's so simple, it's biologic. All you have to do is put oils around your eyes and fix your mindset and your spirituality and you'll be able to see better. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something, but that does not seem simple at all. That claim seems pretty kooky and bizarre to me and it doesn't make logical sense. And apparently even news outlets are seeing how bizarre and kooky this whole thing is too because there have been countless articles written about her pseudoscience masterclass. I can link a few of those below for you if you wanna check them out. But here's one on Rolling Stone that says you don't need glasses, a wellness coach's bogus claim in its 100 year history. A viral Instagram video from an essential oil sales rep has eye doctors battling medical misinformation that dates back to 1920. The Canadian news outlet National Post basically drags Samantha's credibility by saying that, quote, the Canadian Association of Optometrists are not aware of the existence in peer reviewed scientific literature of any evidence to support Samantha's claims, and that Dr. Doctors of optometry require seven to eight years of post-secondary education to obtain their professional designation. It's crucial for individuals to evaluate the information they encounter and rely on reputable sources for accurate scientific information. <laughs> That's a really respectful way of saying this internet influencer has no idea what she's talking about and that you should consider the source and maybe listen to professionals instead. Ouch. This is not just some disgruntled hater teenage TikToker trying to drag you like Samantha thinks. No, you've got not one, not two, but like 12 different news articles written about you all kind of agreeing that you're spreading medical misinformation and that you should probably stop. At this point, you may be wondering, what does doTERRA have to say about all of this? Because after all, she claims in her masterclass that doTERRA oils can help heal your eyesight. It turns out that doTERRA was made aware of these claims and they commented on Mallory's Twitter thread saying, doTERRA is committed to training its distributors and monitoring claims made to existing and potential customers to ensure that they comply with what the law allows us to say about the health benefits of our products. While our products can be used to promote a healthier lifestyle, and achieve certain wellness benefits, they cannot be used or marketed as capable of preventing, treating, or curing any disease or symptoms associated with a disease. In my opinion, this is kind of a generic people-pleasing company response with an emptiness behind it. To which Mallory replied,
reply is really? Because I brought Samantha to your attention 10 months ago and you didn't do a dang thing. So what are you gonna do about it this time? And unsurprisingly, doTERRA did not respond to that. Here's my final thoughts. I have to be honest, my heart goes out to this woman. She has this delusion that she has the secrets to fixing everyone's vision problems. And she probably never thought that her masterclass would gain the negative attention that it has. She probably felt like it was protected behind a paywall and that all the people who would sign up for it would be genuinely interested in what she had to say and would therefore likely believe her. Her masterclass has gained a lot of negative attention and criticism. And it's clear that she's a bit frazzled and upset and she's acting frantically to try and protect the image of her masterclass and therefore her reputation. That has got to be so hard. One day you're making thousands of dollars teaching a masterclass and then the next day millions of people have seen what you're teaching and they have a negative impression about it. That sucks. That is a huge bummer for her. I'm sure she had intentions of offering this masterclass more than once, but now with the reputation that it has, I don't know if she could really get away with that, but I will reiterate what Mallory said. And that is, please do not listen to or give your money to influencers on social media who have no idea what they are talking about. Use your critical thinking skills and ask yourself, what is this person's motive? Why are they doing what they're doing? Why are they claiming what they're claiming? And I'm sure that you won't have to dig too far to discover that the answer is usually money and greed. My goal for this video was to give a recap of this whole situation and to therefore platform it even more. This is almost like a case study as to what happens every single day on social media with influencers creating something, a masterclass, a course, whatever it is, and then they're selling it to their audience and profiting off of empty information. Scammers be scamming and they get really upset when their grift is exposed for what it really is. And on that note, I would love to know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this whole situation? I've already expressed a lot of my thoughts. I would love to know yours. And once again, thanks to Paired for sponsoring today's video. If you click my link in the description box below, you're going to get a seven day free trial plus 25% off Paired Premium. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon. Okay.